Okay, back. Same performance, but we'll learn some new moves. I hope. Nope. He doesn't even have any special moves with Square. He does have this cool little run and dash. I could also go stealth, but frankly, who wants to do that? Actually, I want to figure out, am I able... Wow, he saw me? Oh, he's still trying to find me. That's kind of funny. I could have sworn someone was on top of that box. Now I want to see, can I stealth kill it? No? Sam doesn't stealth kill? Okay, I can at least combo cancel. Oh right, I have a stinger! My dash attack is my stinger. And he does like to blow wind with his attacks. That's the only thing I'll give him. His attacks do blow wind. I don't know if all the hitboxes are hitting directly or because the wind is further, it's gonna go back, but... Uh, gotta wait and see, right? At least I know. I have this. It's the stinger. Maybe that's all I need. Two clean slices. Thank you. Have a nice day. Whoa! There's more? Okay, well... Oh, I don't have invincibility frames on that. Okay, okay, so my theory of having invincibility frames on my uh, charge attack... That kind of went down the drain. At least I do have a cool air dash. I need to remember to use that. Just being able to, let's say, start a combo, or maybe just head towards an enemy, air dash, and then something. Maybe it's not gonna work, I don't know. I was hoping he could walk on walls for some reason. Let's see, there are a couple of hidden things around. Like this. I need to concentrate. Nice. 140 health. Oh. Extra fight. That kind of clear cleared a big part of their shields, but this guy was breakdancing for a bit. I was hoping to cycle crusher it. Might as well just... Go at it, full power. Add as much impact as I can. Actually, why don't I taunt? That's one thing. Might as well use and abuse of the power of the taunt. I don't know. I need to see its lasting effect. Frankly, if taunting gives a lasting effect, um, gets people mad and prevents them from focusing, that would be delicious. I was looking for the elevator, but then again, it seems uh, no one's around. Oh, first gotta get those items. But that's the weird thing, you know, you get into this DLC and you start feeling all the extra options you have, yet it, it's kind of a throw-off, you know? Like, alright, it's not Raiden, it's uh, a fresh new type of gameplay, but it kind of throws you off from the way you're used to fighting the other enemies. So it's kind of interesting in that sense. Um, I can't forget to use any assets I have, which means grenades and such.
but uh, that is one thing when it comes to miniature puny soldiers like that gotta use all your AOE and see how much damage you can pull off from there Not what I wanted to do, but see, kind of want to slash them all at the same time. Let's see. Too bad I can't hold it as much as I could, or you understand what I mean, right? Just holding it until the next wave begins. Oh, there's more people here. Oh, right, and some guy with a rocket launcher. Watch out. Okay, that was not a good move. Can I parry those? Okay, well, that was convenient. That's another thing. For some reason, I just can't follow Sam's, some, uh, Sam, Sam's moves. Some of these moves, uh, combined with the camera angles, just make it a bit harder to follow him on screen. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm too used to writing. Maybe I need to get in touch with the burrito sword. Given all the salsa. Get some random data. Frankly, I haven't even looked at the data. I was so uninterested. I was much more focused on, you know, cutting people down with Raiden, uh, doing some kind of a time trial to get back my data, and such things. So, I'll have to look at the data after. At the same time, you know what's odd? Uh, when I first did his DLC, I didn't do it after, or I didn't do it a second time. This is the second time I'm basically doing this DLC. I didn't feel uh, like I wanted to play with this character again. <laughs> Looking at my performance on a previous VR mission, you can kind of see why. I'm not a big fan of Sam's gameplay, but I guess it's something that'll grow on you as you figure it out. Uh, gotta eliminate all enemies, bunch of ninjas. It's just figuring out your stinger. Wow. Really? Oh, okay, well, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. I did like that first move where they just shot a rocket at their own friend. Uh, so now I know not to fall. Wow. I do want to get your friend. Okay, this is getting a bit annoying. Oh, man. Could you please die? Oh, okay. Wow. The frustration has no end. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to try and blow wind at them. Maybe that's gonna work. I don't know, he just doesn't feel as powerful as a rider.
see you c combine that with the fact that this random guy is shooting a fucking rocket and I backflipped out of I really don't like Sam I mean with Raiden I would have fucking slide kick into you are being cut in half that is the end of your journey you know that kind of but now there's no offensive option or Okay, at least I got the guy. Ah, frustration, ahoy! I guess this is what extends this DLC. Just all the frustration you are going to get from getting used to Sam, getting used to his control, and. Dealing with BS like that. Oh my god. If I knew... If I knew which move would push people, I would use it. But he doesn't have any. He has a launcher, but he doesn't have any pushback moves. It's not like Raiden where I could just push people back. Okay, I got this guy into katana mode. Now to concentrate. No! Really? That was close. My little plate is like Bayonetta. This is where some of the moves just don't work. I'm trying to do his dash slash, but it does not work. And I'm not talking about the stinger. I'm Might as well cut that arm of yours. You see, my move should have range. Give me that fluid. Thank you, Capron. See. I kind of wish this guy was pushed down because of that. Oh man. That and the targeting just gets obligatorily. At least I can charge up my that second dash slash. But of course, they get no hits done from that. Absolutely none. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, fuck this. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done. Fuck it. I'm not gonna waste my fucking time with this stupid thing. I'm fucking done with this. Wow. Yeah, this is why Sam was beaten by Raiden. <laughs> I'm calling it right here. 
Seriously, this guy has no option. It's um it's quite terrible. I mean when it comes to group combat when it comes to one on one, okay, I see his options. But group combat? Ass. Say you took on a drug cartel back in Brazil all by yourself. Almost took it down, too. <laughs> if you had, another outfit would have taken its place. One way or another, it always goes back to business as usual. You realized that, didn't you, Sam? That's why you left. I was out for revenge, and I got it. Well, then, let's see what you got now. And yes, he's going to try to one-up Raiden on this. Hmm, actually, it seems like a custom Metal Gear Ray. But you see, he is terrific when it comes to one-on-one -on -one combat. Aside from laser beam to the face. But yeah, he does have options when it comes to one-on-one -on -one combat. I have absolutely no clue what just happened there. It seems like I was able to hit him on his uh, returning frame. See, he wipes out energy, or he wipes out HP like crazy because of his, uh, his charge moves. And his wind, he blows wind. He blows wind like crazy. So he's able to take down single opponents with little effort. I don't know what it was trying to do. Man, frankly, you might as well have sent Metal Gear Rex against this guy. Because the only thing Ray is going to be pulling off is basically trying to hit and then switch hit. But I can just blow wind at him. That's the nuttiest part. <laughs> at least I'm not breaking wind. And you see... That was a Metal Gear Ray, with barely any effort. The power move, the wind breaking, great. On one on one. On multi-target, takes too much time. But you haven't quite passed the test yet. Come on up to the top floor. It'd be a shame if we didn't meet after you went to all this trouble. So now, gotta scrunch up for some more, uh, some more tools. Might as well look through everything on the floor before reaching a higher base or, you know what I mean? Before reaching another level, a higher level, yada yada yada, all that good stuff. You know there was a chest right here, might as well just get it. Another thing I'll have to say about this character, guy's got style. That's what I can. That's all I have to give you, man. Guy's got style. And also the air dash. Is there anything else here? Oddly enough, I always think there's something else. I don't know why. I might as well try it. Yeah, I'm not touching the VR missions. Fuck you. Seriously, I'm done. I might as well take on opponents um, one at a time or two by two, but you bring in that 
BS where, all right, we're going to give you four opponents. We're going to give you no floor or exit ring out. And yeah, I'm going to have to run back, aren't I? It's a little test, right? By Monsoon and President. Actually, I was kind of wondering if I could access the higher floor. Noah. Oh, well. You'd think there'd be something, huh? I think those two VR missions give me extra health, so I'd be at 160 if I gave a fuck. Or if I wanted to do you all to waste your time, right? Or if I wanted to waste all your time. Uh, and again, there's another part where he can just go stealth, but... Sam, stealth? Really now? I kinda wanna see that. You know what, let's see if we can get a person stealth-wise. Or the stealth method. Can he stealth? This is the question we're about to answer in a few moments. Okay, can he stealth kill? I know he can stealth. If I put a box on him, or if you put a box on anyone, they can stealth. But, what is his stealth kill? Can he stealth kill? If I taunted behind this wall, would people hear me? Actually, that'd be another test. As soon as this guy passes on the other side, I'll see if I can stealth kill him. I doubt it. But... Eh, why not? Another thing is, why do I have points? Oh wait, he's actually gonna go out the door, is he? Bloody hell. I can't stealth kill him. Huh. Okay, well... Gotta blow some wind! Getting out of, uh, out of the airspace here. Might as well disarm you on this one. Ooh. Oh, wow, someone's dropping bombs over Baghdad here. Right, right, right. Another little thing uh, that I've noticed with Sam is, uh, well, aside from bad invincibility frames, or lack thereof, I can't seem to change some of this stuff. Okay, he's getting my Psycho Crusher. And he's giving me, no, he doesn't want to give me some bad fluid. His dodge is complete assery to a certain degree. Can I air rave? Yeah, his dodge is complete assery. But he can blow wind. This guy is trying to shoulder tackle while I'm trying to aerial rave him. See, I guess that's the only way, or the only way I could get an air juggle. Just go into blade mode after you launch the guy and see what you can do. <laughs> that's the only uh, description I could give you. You see, even his main dash slash is slow. At least I can combine it with triangle to try and lift people in the air. Because it's, it's going to be like his main slash. But, um, it's slow. He's just really slow. He's um, a much different pace than Raiden. Kind of makes me wish for Raiden back, but, you know, that's just being, being a bit of a douche. You make kill a part of it, 
A limb or two, but the main body will survive. Then I'll just have to kill all of it. All of you. <laughs> We're not some band of favela thugs. I told you, our outfit is a living thing with offspring, with influence, our memes. You've destroyed plenty of street gangs all over the world. Yet, are we any closer to world peace? I'm not here for the world. I'm here for myself. Well, that's more like it. Let's just see how far that attitude gets you here, shall we? Kind of an interesting dialogue here, right? It's fun to learn his motivations. I mean, he is mostly here for himself and taking out whoever's in his way. Frankly, you're part of a gang? Well, that's it. You're his target. Target acquired. I do like his double jump. I'll give him that. Oh, right. Also use some of these sub weapons I so uh, have. Target acquired. Target acquired. So there goes the air enemies or mid-air enemies. Now let's see if people can spot me on the roof while I go get this thing. What is this? 150 health? Oh, gorillas. No? No, that wasn't health. Okay, people. You found me, but can you fight me? Oh, come on! Okay, well, you were taken care of. Where's the other guy? Oh, there you are. Come on. Come on. The other guy. Yes. Get your spine. Get that spine. The only one I'm missing is your friend, but frankly, he's a douche. I'll just call it out like that. I had no clue who that guy was, but he's still a douche. Okay. You also want to take your time here. Well, not literally, but you want to explore, check out things. Like this Japanese tea house. Or maybe it's not even a tea house. No, you actually want to find out power ups. Uh, you want to get that 150 health or whatever, how high you can get it without the VR mission because. Because why not? At this point, if you're not going to get the VR missions, you might as well get your health another way. And at the same time, you can get grenades and all sorts of cool little loot um, to dismantle your enemies with. Like this rocket launcher. Good replacement for the one I had at the beginning, right? Um, at the same time, you also want to make sure where you're running at. There you go. I like that little air dash. I wish there was more of a use for it. Aside from bouncing off walls. Uh, after you get hit. I mean, you have the Vega effect after you get hit, which is kind of cool. No joke, you could bring in Sam into some uh, Anarchy Reign or some Street Fighter. No, I'd say Anarchy Reign. Street Fighter would just make him have an Oni form or some bullshit like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, you could really bring a character like Sam into a game like Street uh, Anarchy Reign. Not Street Fighter. Let's not talk about Street Fighter anymore. I don't want to get Ultra. 160 health. I went from 140 to 160. That's quite interesting. Or entertaining? Oh, I did not check the. F I didn't check the. Squid. Watermelon. It's kind of funny. Um, okay. I did not check the inside of the house. One thing I'll have to do. Just being sure. Don't don't worry. He runs quite fast, so. And my eternal rival, the cat. You have squandered me for the last time. 
Your game is over. Prepare to face me! Wait, what? Oh. You... That's it, this cat is too good. You win, cat. You win. For now. But I'm gonna get you. Okay. Also gotta see if there's any other items I can acquire before I get into this uh, Japanese combat. Nothing else. Okay, let's get done with it. Oh wow, my attack did not did not penetrate. Might as well get that spine. Mm, all the fluid I can get. Something I would rather want would be more use to that. More use to my fluid bar than just blade mode. Because basically, it feels weak. You know what I mean? Like, it can attack with blade mode, but at the same time, I'm not seeing that much of an effect. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I can get some extra hits. Oh, wow, he has a Cycle Crusher, too. Might as well blow and win his way. Okay. But you see, I don't see the full use of having such a long bar unless, well, outside of the fact that, you know, you're gonna take out the enemy, see if you can take out two, three more at the same time, and get all that fluid. But I don't see any other use. Uh, the extra hits feel a bit weak. I don't know if they have as much power. Maybe they have. Maybe they don't. I am not even sure. So, whoever has an answer, ah, fuck that VR. Besides, I'm at 160 health. I don't need more than that. Oh, I love that. That is one thing I'll give him. Psycho Crusher. And I guess this is where I'm gonna end this. Part 2, Sam DLC. Oh, I'm at 150. Sorry, the screen read wrong. Or the font. Actually, the font. I read it wrong, but the font. So, ending it here, I'll continue later on.